Hey, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from weartesters.com. For those of you guys that follow me on social, more specifically on Instagram, y'all already know that I was in LA this past weekend and I was able to check out the new Nike NBA jerseys as well as wear test the new upcoming Nike LeBron 15. So today we're gonna be talking about the Nike LeBron 15, my thoughts on it after playing in it. We did not get to keep the shoe, so keep that in mind. This is not an actual performance review. We were literally in the shoe for maybe about two hours max, but here are some tidbits of information about the shoe for those of you guys that are curious. So the hoop session was super early, dude. Like seriously, I was up at 6 a.m. I didn't even get to sleep till after 3 a.m. So I was running on practically nothing. We started everything at 7 a.m. And one of the first things we got to do was to kick it with one of the designers whose name is Kevin Dodson. Uh, we're really excited about it for a couple of reasons. Number one, just flat out. I think the challenge anytime you're making a product for a guy like LeBron is how do you make a shoe that supports, protects, enables him to play at the maximum of his game, but also works for the everyday basketball player around the world. Uh, so traditionally what that's meant is we've maybe made some shoes that were strong and built up and really bulky uh, to give him support and structure that he needed. Well, with some of the innovation advancements that we have with this product, we're gonna be able to, uh, I think, give you a product on your foot that's one of the lighter shoes we've made for LeBron, highly sleek, um, and also uh, incredibly responsive on court. So a couple quick things that you'll experience when you're out on the court. First thing is uh, a really new and advanced fly knit battle that we uh, have developed for LeBron. Essentially what this is, uh, is, a, is a breakthrough around fly knit where we're able to, we've always been able to engineer fly knit you know, really well where you can get strength and stretch in key areas. But what we've been able to do is uh, kind of really build up the fly knit in a way to create structure and support on the sidewall. So that side to side cutting in basketball that you traditionally have, uh, where you need to create that support so you're not slipping out over the footbed, this fly knit battle is gonna give you that kind of protection. The other thing is, um, we've provided, you know, if you go and you talk to LeBron, probably his favorite underfoot playing shoe is the LeBron 10. That full length zoom, uh, super responsive. The only downfall, not the most flexible platform to play in, not the best transition probably on court. So what we've done is taken some learnings from that and some of the work we've done over the last few years with some more flexible lower uh, outsoles and we have this max zoom bottom that's very articulated, flexible based on the construction. So it's actually one big bag uh, that gives you that full max support with the zoom fibers in it. So it's kind of that ultimate combination of protection and responsiveness, but we've built in articulation on the bottom to give you that flexibility and some improved transition. So uh, looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say about it, what you think after you get a chance to run around in it. Um, I'll be around to answer questions if you guys have those, but uh, hope you guys get to enjoy the experience. Uh, we're really proud of this product, and I know, like LeBron said, it's his, probably his favorite shoe to date in terms of playing shoe and, and, and also the ability in terms of style that, that he gets from it. So enjoy. I'll be here. Appreciate you guys being here. I'm sure you guys uh, got a really good night's sleep last night. <laughs> so, uh, so enjoy, and... Uh, Look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Now in terms of my actual thoughts, the traction was awesome, but we were playing on a college campus court. I've played on some really clean courts, but this was by far like the cleanest one that I've ever been on. So take this for what you will. We were playing in two different versions. I got to play in the ghost colorway. That colorway features a translucent outsole. Again, on this pristine court, I literally had no issues. I mean, the traction was awesome. It was biting and everything. However, just to avoid any potential mishaps, I guess, I would go for a colorway that's more close to the ashes colorway which features a solid rubber outsole the pattern itself are basically just triangles and they're very aggressive they come out of the shoe now I've played in traction very similar to this in the Nike LeBron soldier 7 it was really good in that shoe and it's just the same in this shoe now the cushion on these guys was fantastic I'm talking like Hall of Fame level cushion it was everything that I loved out of the LeBron 10 but they made it so that you can move in it for those of you guys that have been rocking with me for a while. The LeBron 10 had some of the best cushion of all time, but that shoe was stiff as hell. What they've been able to do is use the Phylon Carrier here as basically a platform, so it kind of cradles your foot a little bit. So while the shoe looks like it rides really high, it actually doesn't. You feel that you are very low to the ground. However, you have this incredible bouncy feeling under your foot. The heel is supported by independent air pillars, so that section of the cushion is built very similarly to the rear section of the LeBron 10's airbag where it's a mixture between air mat
Max and Zoom Air. Whereas the midfoot and forefoot units are strictly Zoom Air. I don't know how to explain it other than you feel like you're on top of a trampoline. But for anybody wondering if you feel like you ride too high off the floor, the answer is no. Like I said, that midsole is pretty much hollow. You're almost sitting directly on the Zoom bags. The materials I thought were awesome as well. They're calling it Flyknit Battle. However, the Flyknit on this stuff is really, really thick and you can actually feel where it's integrated thicker in certain sections than other sections. For example, the collar and the tongue area are very stretchy fly knit. Not a lot of structure in those sections and that's to make it easier for your foot to get in and out. Meanwhile, the main construction of the upper is a decently thick fly knit, but it still moves with your foot so it doesn't feel like it, it's like restricting or anything like that. But then there are some high wear areas and high stress zone areas that are incredibly thick, one of which being right at the tip of the toe and I assume that's just for toe drags. That's normally where you get like a little fuse rand and that area definitely felt more reinforced than the rest and the same thing goes for the lateral side panel that area is just really beefed up and it's to make sure that your containment upon lateral movements isn't sacrificed just because of the fact that they're using a knit versus like a leather overlay for those of you guys that are wondering about ankle braces I know that a lot of people wear braces I feel like this shoe can accommodate that because of the fact that the collar area is so stretchy these are basically a low top LeBron shoe but they look like a high top because of the extra collar height and that pretty much takes care of it I don't have much else to say about the shoe other than I really wanted to keep playing in them. That to me is one of the telltale signs of me actually enjoying my time in something. If I don't want to take them off, if I want to keep going, that's one of the big deciding factors of how I know if I really like these or not. And so far, so good with a LeBron 15. I think that a lot of people are going to be happy with these. The cushion, like I said, is just phenomenal. You don't feel like you're riding high off the ground despite how it looks. That midsole is really cradling you and the materials are just awesome. So hopefully this helps you guys out just a little bit to kind of like better understand what's going on with the LeBron 15. Stay tuned for a performance review once I get a pair. Big thank you to everybody over at Nike for the invite. I greatly appreciate it. I had a blast. Feel free to share your thoughts on the LeBron 15s down below in the comment section. And until next time, guys, have a good one.